welcome to Atlanta. Uh, my name is Brandon McCafferty. This is my lovely wife, Jennifer McCafferty. Uh, we are being filmed as to uh, give you a little information about ourselves to uh, bring the whole McCafferty clan a little closer together. I am uh, uh, a tax consultant here in Atlanta. Uh, we have my son. Uh, Quinn McCafferty, Nathaniel Quinn McCafferty. Hi, Quinn. Hi, Say Quinn. hi. No. He is uh, playing with Jenny's iPad. He is discovering farm animals. Uh, we're here with uh, Art and Jenny. Uh, we just bought a house today, so I guess that's the news uh, that's uh, currently on our mind right now, so we're very excited about that. Hi, I'm Jennifer. I have family in Florida and central New York. I'm currently teaching orchestra at in Atlanta Public Schools Middle School and I met Brandon in Florida seven years ago. Uh, we've been married for two years. My maiden name is Garacio, so um, my father's family, uh, his grandparents came from Italy uh, where we have Garacios and Palatos in our family on my dad's side. My mom's side is Sweatman's and Halls and I believe they are British and they were farmers in central New York. Currently, they're both living in Florida, one in Tampa, one in Sarasota. They are now divorced, but they get along, so I see them at family functions. I have a sister who has two sons, Evan and Logan, um, and she lives in Lakeland, Florida. As far as uh, our family is concerned, um, we've got, uh, we're the only two here in Atlanta. Uh, uh, my parents are actually from Michigan, where they hail from. Uh, we came down to the south uh, when I was a kid, so we went through Kentucky and um, Tennessee and Alabama. I grew up, uh, spent some very formative years in Alabama, so you'll forgive me for that. Uh, the rest of our family now is, has moved to uh, South Carolina on uh, uh, my mom's side, my aunt uh, uh, Mary and uh, my cousin Jennifer, my other cousin Christopher, and their respective spouses and children are in South Carolina uh, along with uh, my mother's mother, uh, Dorothy Dean Zavara. She's now in South Carolina as well, so we get a, a chance to go up there and visit them every three or four weeks, which is very nice. So we do have some family close by. It's about two hours from here. Uh, so my sister, Michelle, uh, and is married to uh, uh, a gentleman by the name of Don Graves. They live in South Carolina as well. They live just outside of Charleston, and their children are Benjamin and Samantha. Um, I guess our cousins, if we're going to do it, let's do it. So uh, Jennifer Ballin, uh, my mother's sister is Mary Ballin. Again, they live in uh, Greenville, South Carolina. They, her two uh, kids are uh, Jennifer, uh, now Johnson, and Christopher Ballin. Um, Jennifer is married to Kevin Johnson. They have uh, two daughters, um, Sophia and Elliot, and Christopher is uh, engaged to Tiffany. Tiffany, and uh, they have a daughter by uh, the name, well, it's Christopher's daughter by somebody else. Um, named uh, Olivia. So, I, I, hey, it gets complicated. Uh, let's see, my mother is uh, uh, currently in um, Florida. Uh, she is in, she, she summers in Florida, it's a very tough life. She summers in Florida down in the Keys uh, and she summers for a little bit in uh, Alabama on the Redneck Riviera, the little bit of Alabama that's got a coastline in uh, Gulf Shores. And she spends her summers up in Petoskey, Michigan, where she works uh, as a nurse. Uh, she's married to Andrew Valenti, who is uh, an attorney, and he has three daughters. Um, so uh, we get to see them a couple times a year, which is nice. Joe's going to come tomorrow. Uh, that's her, her, father. her father. Joe's a, Joe's a great guy, so he's a lot of fun, and we're looking forward to that. Brandon McCafferty, the early years. This is going to be for my biographer. And... Uh, Talk about uh, life in the the Southern McCafferty clan uh, growing up. So let's see. I was born in um, Aurora, Colorado. Uh, my father was uh, still in the military at that point. Um, so I was born in uh, um, Fitzsimmons uh, Air Force or Fitzsimmons Army Hospital. I believe that's what it was. Um, and only lived there for about six months. Uh, from my understanding, we then moved to... Texas, I think Fort Hood, 
and later we moved to Kentucky. So those are my earliest memories are uh, in Kentucky. Uh, we lived in three different places in Kentucky, uh, Lexington, Kentucky, Richmond, and Moorhead. Um, and uh, Lexington, uh, I believe that's uh, where I went to uh, nursery school and kindergarten. I think uh, Richmond was a little later than that, but I could be wrong. I believe we only lived in each place for about a year. So. Uh, my father was uh, working very hard. He, uh, I think he was doing his residency at that point, um, so it's a, a long and arduous process. Uh, then we moved to uh, Moorhead, Kentucky. Clear memories of that. Uh, had my first little girlfriend there in first grade, um, Stephanie. Uh, I think uh, I was there for uh, first and second grade. Lived in a, a nice house on the side of a mountain. Uh, my uh, father was, I believe, still doing his residency there. Uh, the reason we're moving around um, so often is because my father is changing residencies. Obviously, you know, my mother's still there. She was a school teacher for uh, some period of time, but um, I don't know exactly when she stopped teaching school. I remember her being uh, home uh, with us all the time, very loving mother. Uh, so we wanted for nothing. We had the classic uh, Partridge family upbringing as far as uh, you know dinner every night with the, the family around a, a table um, uh, mom you know, uh, diligent uh, uh, housekeeper and cook and laundry folder and and you know uh, knee kisser and you know uh, so after Moorhead we moved to Huntsville, Alabama, and that's where I uh, spent some formative years from third grade to seventh grade, and that's where my father had, uh, I believe, his first uh, uh, full-time uh, position as a, as a physician. Um, he's done with his residency, so um, so that's the beginning of his, uh, his long professional career as an anesthesiologist. Uh, my mother uh, stayed at home and um, you know, took care of everything, took care of uh, uh, my sister and I. Uh, Huntsville, Alabama was uh, an, an idyllic community. Uh, and it was back in the day when you could uh, still walk to school and ride your bike to school, uh, the, the community had a little, uh, uh, well, it was actually a large pool um, where everybody would... Uh, congregate after school you had swim lessons people were on the swim team and we had competitions and such um, so Huntsville Alabama at that time was a, a very nice place to grow up um, so uh, we lived in Huntsville uh, in the valley f uh, for several years and then we moved up the the hill when uh, the McCafferty financial fortunes had had, Im had improved uh, my father was doing quite well so we moved up the hill and um, and that's uh, that's about it. So you know, uh, my sister did ballet. I did uh, uh, baseball and soccer, uh, PTA meetings, uh, plays at school, uh, just your your typical Americana. So uh, it was Huntsville, Alabama, was a, a very nice place to grow up. Um, and then. Uh, my parents separated. Uh, I went off to boarding school. Actually, I moved to Nashville, Tennessee, with my mother, and uh, and then from there, I uh, uh, <laughs> went through my uh, teenage years. Uh, and I went to boarding school. She moved up to Michigan and uh, uh, married um, her husband, who she's still with, and my father. Uh, continued his adventures and actually went to Saudi Arabia, where he spent. Uh, several years in Saudi Arabia. Uh, my mom, oh, by the way, I, you know, I should say this, uh, went to Nashville, Tennessee with my mother. And, uh, you know, after uh, all of that, my mother's, you know, middle-aged and decided that she was going to reinvent herself. So she went to Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee, which was incredibly impressive. Um, she did quite well there, uh, graduated uh, from Vanderbilt and went to um, Farmington Hills, Michigan, and quickly became a partner in a law firm in Farmington Hills, Michigan, where she was uh, 
uh, an outstanding attorney, uh, practiced family law, and uh, I believe uh, uh, a number of, uh, a couple of other things. I don't, uh, attorneys are omnivorous. They'll uh, do pretty much whatever you ask them to do, <laughs> as long as you pay them. Uh, uh, and my father, uh, again, anesthesiologist, uh, went over to uh, Saudi Arabia uh, and was actually in Saudi Arabia during the uh, first Gulf War. So um, he told me uh, some harrowing stories about that. Uh, when Saddam Hussein was launching Scud missiles, one of them actually landed on a military barracks in Riyadh where my father um was uh, uh, an anesthesiologist, and he helped uh, patch back together and take care of some wounded soldiers uh, that had been wounded in the Scud missile attack on Riyadh. Um, after that, he had uh, gotten the notice of the hospital administration and the royal family, and he was referred to uh, the king, um, King Fahd al Saud, uh, to be a uh, one of his uh, personal physicians. Um, they had uh, physicians on staff. There was a rotating staff there, so my father has some very interesting stories of spending time at the royal palace of King Fahd al Saud in Riyadh. Um, so that's he tells me stories of outlandish. Uh, luxury and he has any number of stories to tell about uh, 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 the Middle East and uh, what a completely different culture it is so it's quite interesting so uh, after that he ended up moving to the Philippines where he met uh, Bensel and that's his current wife now so they live in um, uh, geez, Palawan uh, Palawan, Philippines. It's uh, an island the furthest west of the ar archipelago. Um, it's not an archipelago, is it? Yeah, it is Chain Islands. Anyway, uh, other than that, we've done uh, a number of trips. My father loved to travel, so uh, we went on biking trips with Art's uh, son when we were in high school. So that was uh, very interesting. Uh, the McCafferty boys in Ireland. Uh, that was our first biking trip, and that uh, there was a learning curve, to say the least. So I don't think any of us were quite prepared for uh, for what we had in front of us. And uh, you know, I didn't know Mike very well at all, and you know, he didn't know either one of us. And uh, I'm a teenager. There's uh, there's some teenage angst going on there, and we get on these bikes, and we did not realize that uh, the bikes that we were getting on were um, street touring bikes, and uh, these are European street touring bikes. I think these things had three speeds, so uh, this was this was a, a classic mistake, and we we just kind of started rolling with it. And that that seemed like a really good idea at first, until you get outside of uh, outside of civilization, and you realize that <laughs> a three speed bike does not do well in the mountains of Ireland. So uh, we biked all around that island and. Had a good old time. Had uh, you know, drank plenty of, of Guinness and ate uh, all kinds of mediocre food. So I can remember the beer. I can't remember a, a single thing we ate. I think that's uh, kind of telling of Irish food in general. I'm sure we ate plenty of potatoes. Um, but uh, uh, Mike and I had uh, a lot of fun. Actually, we met some great Irish guys in in Kinsale. Uh, I think in County Cork, in the the bottom of the island. So. Uh, Mike and I, uh, my father was nice enough to, to let us uh, go and be boys, and uh, we went out uh, trying to pick up Irish women in, in Kinsale. We met a couple of the locals, and so that was probably the most fun I had with, with Mike when we were there. So that, that was a lot of fun. Um, and that, I, think, uh, I think we met uh, the most uh, beautiful girl uh, we met in Ireland in Kinsale, and of course she came from Sweden.
let's see. We did uh, after that. We went to Switzerland. Switzerland was a lot of fun. Uh, Art and my father did a uh, mini marathon there. I think it almost killed both of them. Um, I don't think you're supposed to. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know how much uh, um, research they've done in it. Uh, done into that uh, marathon, but uh, come to find out, there are a lot of mountains in Switzerland. And uh, so I don't know how they did on that uh, that mini marathon. I, I heard it was kind of hard. So um, we had a lot of fun. Um, that's the the Irish trip. And other than that, I've been I've been uh, all over the world with my father. Uh, been to uh, Indonesia with my father. Been to the Philippines a couple of times. Uh, I biked through uh, Europe with my father. Uh, on two occasions, well, three, I guess, Ireland, and then we went from uh, uh, Vienna to Budapest, and then another time we went from Budapest um, to Spain, where I had a friend, uh, I'd studied for a while in Europe, so I had a friend who was Spanish, and uh, her father had a, an apartment in um, Valencia, which is uh, kind of in a... a south uh, east of spain so we were able to rent uh, an apartment in spain so my father and i biked from from uh budapest uh into uh italy and then uh we hopped on a train and went down to valencia and we spent some time there going to a spanish language school so uh that was a, a lot of fun as well so uh you know i've certainly been on a, a lot of very very pleasant adventures with my father My mother I haven't traveled quite as much with, but she's always been the rock. She's always been there. She's always the one who's helped me move into college dorms and, uh, you know, bailed me out of jail. And uh, uh, she's always the she's, she's always been the rock. So, uh, you know, uh, my life would be uh, unrecognizable without my mother's support. So um, I guess... Uh, I guess that's about it.